Hi, Vanessa. I am Sophia Soto from the Nerds of Color, and I am such a huge fan of you and your work. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. Of course. Thank you. Of course. And the movie was great, by the way. I so Thank enjoyed you. watching it. Um, Good. Those, you know, those good holiday rom-coms really get you into the spirit. And when I was watching this film, I got right into the spirit, of <laughs> course. You're like, I'm, it's go time. Let's go. <laughs> it didn't hit me till that point. I'm like, we're almost here, guys. I know, uh, literally. It cuts on bonus quick, too. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, when you're filming those films, I'm just curious, what is your favorite aspect of, like, getting into that vibe and bringing that to life? Um. Well, I'm really lucky because the past two Princess Switches we did in Scotland during the holiday season. Oh, that's um, beautiful. I, oh. I, yeah, there's 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 nothing worse than than having to do Christmas in March. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just feels so wrong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice that I could actually do it over the holiday season in such a magical place. You, you've had so many amazing roles, but I would imagine it's a little different when you get to not only return to films or a character, you get to return to three characters in this movie. So what is it like kind of seeing what they're up to at this in this movie? It's really fun. Um, you know, I got to create a character for the last one that I love dearly, Fiona, um, yes. <laughs> who is the most over the top and exuberant gal on the block. Um, but it was really fun because I feel like people either loved her or they hated her and there was no divide. And I was just so, so compelled by that to tell yeah. her story and share why she is the way that she is so that hopefully people can have more empathy towards people that they don't really understand. I love, I loved her. That's I loved her from the second one and she yeah, only gets better true. in this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the, also the vibe in this one with the whole mission to get the star back was just so fun and different. And you don't always get that in holiday films or even rom-coms in general. How fun was that for you to get to do? So much fun. I mean, I, I was like, I get to have my Catherine Zeta Jones entrapment moment and I really love that for me because <laughs> it was very informative to me growing up. So hopefully this will be that for the newer generation. <laughs> Definitely. And I loved Fiona and Peter's dynamic. It was just so much fun, so fresh. And you guys just worked so well off of each other. What did what did you love about that? Um. Well, when we knew that we had a new character that we had to cast, I was very excited to be able to bring someone new into, into the family um, and did a couple of chemistry reads. And right off the bat, Remy had this, me and Mike, my director, like to call it Sparkle, um, which fits so well into our world of the Princess Switch. And I, like I kind of said, when you watch certain movies, it gets you in the holiday spirit. And there's certain things that get me in the holiday spirit. Is there one thing that gets you in the holiday spirit, either film, music, item, cookies, anything like that? Um, decorations. I'm a sucker yes. for the decorations. Whenever I see that, I'm like, it's cute. And that makes me feel a certain type of way. And I love it. Um, but like mold wine is, is kind of like my go-to holiday beverage. And, and whenever I get to make that, I, you smell it throughout the entire house. And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, it's the holidays. Yes. Yes. And I, I have to imagine this set was just such a fun one. It looks like it, you guys all just look like you had a blast. Do you have like a favorite memory when you look back on filming the third film? Man, probably just the community aspect of it, because we did do this during the pandemic and Netflix is so incredible with all the safety precautions that they took, but it really meant it was like us against the world. Um, and I'm just so grateful that, that we had a cast and crew of amazing human beings who were down to to not see their family and their friends for the duration of filming who are totally on board to, to share some holiday magic and cheer. Yeah, because at the end of the day, this film is gonna bring that to so many families that were trapped in their house during the pandemic and, and still some of them still going through a hard time. So I, I appreciate that. And I know a lot of your fans and viewers are gonna appreciate that magic you guys brought. Um, 
And I had to, I had to ask you this because when I was watching the movie, this question came to my mind. I always like to throw in a fun and creative question. If you could personally switch places with one of your roles for like a week or so, which would you pick and why? Um, I would probably pick Queen Margaret um, because she is a queen, which is a lot of responsibility. But in in the spirit of the holidays and and good good faith and tidings, um, you know, being queen, you can you can change a lot of things for people uh, with a simple command. <laughs> um, yep. So yeah, I want to be queen. <laughs> that's a that's a good choice. <laughs> Yeah. And I, you know, selfishly, I want a fourth film. I would love to see you come back and this franchise to go on forever. Um, but if it was up to you and you could add your own fourth Vanessa into the film, like completely your choice of what you want, what kind of character, what would you want to do? I feel like after doing this last one and having so many wardrobe changes for Fiona, which are so fierce and amazing. Um, I realize how uncomfortable her wardrobe is. Uh, <laughs> so if I was to do a fourth, I feel like she would maybe be like, maybe just estranged from the family um, and like living on the streets. Um, <laughs> very comfortable. And yes. she would be <laughs> Scottish because I love that accent so much. Um, and it would be really fun to do that. <laughs> that would be awesome. Your wardrobes in these films, like, I can't. How, how much fun is it, like, getting to switch them, too? Because you're playing three different characters. You're not even, like, sticking with one. You're doing so many different. What is that like to kind of dress up in those? It's fun. It's really fun. I mean, it's very strategic um, because... It is me playing three different people. We wanted to make sure that they all had a very defined look and color story. Um, but it was it was a blast, you know. I I love being able to play up with play with fashion and change the way that I look. And and these are three very different women from different walks of life. So it was really fun exploring that. And I kind of want to piggyback off of that because I, at least for me as a viewer, there's something I kind of take from some of my favorite characters or my favorite films. And I'm curious, did you maybe take something from each of the characters you've played in this franchise, maybe a life lesson or just an acting challenge that you feel like is going to help you going forward? Anything like that? Um, I mean... So Fiona is like my love child, basically. I got to create her and <laughs> nothing and 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 bring her into this world. Um, and I love her. She's so dramatic. She's so over the top, very much <laughs> like myself. Um, but she was really dividing for people. I found that some people either really loved her or they could not get behind her at all. And I was so surprised by that. So I was like, we have to explore her past. We have to to look at why she is the way that she is. And I'm hoping that after people see this, they'll have more empathy towards those that they don't really understand or make snap judgments about because everyone has a backstory. Yeah, definitely. I love, I love when you get to explore a character's backstory, especially after you've met them. So you get kind of like put the pieces together, but totally. yeah, the rom-com genre is such a fun one as well. Like just mixing those two ends up being the perfect mix. What in your opinion makes the perfect rom-com? Oh, well, you gotta have a love story with its setbacks. You gotta have, uh, <laughs> you gotta have that that instant connection, uh, that sparkle between the two characters. Um, yeah, something has to be thrown their way that challenges them and tests them, and then you gotta have the romantic final kiss. Yep. What exactly? Exactly. You spelled it out like you knew all the secrets. <laughs> You know, it's what? a recipe. <laughs> it, it is, exactly, exactly. When you when you are sitting down to watch your favorite rom-coms, what are you putting on? What are your classic go-tos? Um, oh, man. I love, I love a, a, a female 
rom-com, you know, because I feel yeah. like we always see the classic girl falls in love with a guy or guy falls in love with a girl. Um, and I love seeing the love story of girlfriends. And I feel like my my favorite is is the sweetest thing. Love um, it. Love it. It's just the ultimate, ultimate girl love relationship, you know, and I, I relate to their crazy antics. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. And you also like just throughout your career, you've played some really amazing female characters that I absolutely loved. I'm just curious when you are picking those roles, what do you like hope to accomplish with them? Maybe for your fans or do you look for those strong female roles? Do you look for those complex ones rather than the stereotypes, something like that? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's important to showcase women for all that they are, you know, we are complex and we, we have a lot going on and, and it's really important to show that in a real way and, and to support women's stories, um, which is why this movie is so special to me. It's, it's not just me starring, it's me times three. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> exactly. We get to see three different women from different walks of lives come together and and support one another and and come up with an incredible feat at the end of it. I mean, yeah. I feel like you're giving three characters that maybe completely different females watching can relate to. You're kind of giving them a choice to like feel represented on screen. And I I absolutely I, I'm such a fan of that. I love, I love seeing, I love seeing that because it's not always, it's not always the case, unfortunately. So yeah, totally. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it, the whole thing for holidays, I feel like that it's so special to me is knowing that it's bringing families together. Um, and I'm like, if, if a little girl watching the movie can see herself in me, then that's really special. And she can dream big and, and representation is everything. I'm like, yes, the queen can look like me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect answer. <laughs> um, and I also want to ask what you're most excited for fans to see. I love seeing the hype surrounding these films. It's always so, so fun when the trailer comes out and all of that good yeah. stuff. What are you most excited for? Um, I mean, I feel like it is the classic holiday rom-com. It's going to give you all the feels, uh, but we definitely did our own twist on it. It's, it's kind of like the holiday heist movie. You never knew that you needed. Yeah, exactly. That could be the tagline. I was going to ask you what the tagline <laughs> should have been that right there. The there hardest is. like <laughs> holiday heist. Come on. You can't get better than I that. Know. <laughs> I know. It's great. It's <laughs> perfect. And you also are bringing three romances to life in this film for each of the characters. What is that like to kind of portray three different relationships as well? Not only three different characters. Um, it's, it's, it's really fun. I mean, like slightly daunting if I'm being honest, because <laughs> these are three completely different people from different walks of life and the way they love is all unique unto themselves. Um, so I really had to like whip out different things from the tool belt to make sure that they all had their own uniquities. Vanessa, thank you so much. I, I grew up watching you and it was such a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you for being so wonderful and have a great rest of your day and happy holidays. <laughs> Yeah, it is the season. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Huge Until congrats. Bye, thank you. Bye.